Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone in a national park? So let's look into it. National parks are beautiful, which is why we all want to take photos and video. But what about using a drone to take photos in a national park? Does the FAA allow it? If you've watched the other videos in this series, you've heard me say over and over again that the FAA is the agency that regulates airspace in the United States. That's no different for airspace over national parks. If you follow the rules of FAA Part 107 or USC 44809, if you're flying recreationally and you're not in controlled airspace, then you're probably okay to fly in the airspace above National Park. However, the question is, where do you plan to take off and land your drone? That's the real question. The FAA controls the airspace over the National Park, but the National Park Service controls the grounds within the National Park boundaries. Although each park has its own authority and rules, they all exercise their authority under 36 CFR 1.5, to prohibit launching and landing of drones in their respective parks. The National Park Service or NPS does recognize that their jurisdiction ends at the park boundaries. So a drone that takes off and lands outside the park is not within their jurisdiction. Some parks may state that drone takeoff and landing is prohibited without written approval of the park superintendent, but they'll also say that it's not likely that you'll get approval by the superintendent, unless it's for an activity such as an emergency search and rescue operation. So who enforces this prohibition and what happens if you do get caught taking off or landing your drone in a national park? According to the NPS website, park rangers have the authority to enforce these rules and the penalty can be up to six months in jail and a $5,000 fine. A statement that I hear often is that as long as you take off from outside the national park, you can fly over the national park. And that's true. And the NPS does recognize that. But there are a few things that you should remember. Part 107 and USC 44809 require that you keep your drone within visual line of sight and that you don't fly over people or moving vehicles. Part 107 and CFR 36 prohibit reckless flying or disturbance of wildlife nesting, breeding, or other activities. Or if you do have to land your drone because of an emergency or something else in the national park, you could be fined or jailed. So can you fly your drone in a national park? Yes, you can if you get permission from the park superintendent, which is just not likely. If you take off and land from outside the park, and you fly over the national park, you can do that as long as you're able to follow the rules of FAA Part 107 or USC 44809 if you're flying a recreational flight only and you don't disturb wildlife or visitors. The pro tip for this week is don't fly your drone over or in a national park unless you have a very special reason and you get permission from the park superintendent. You might be able to fly your drone legally from outside the park over the park, but the risk is high and the chance of you violating a rule or a law is also very high. It could cost you jail time and a fine. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can address that in a future video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks again for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying and we'll see you next time.